we've learned from you also is, or what we've inherited from you is also the gene of being deal junkies. When Ivanka Trump was an executive vice president at the Trump Organization, she worked on a lot of deals. And we found that Ivanka made false statements about some of those deals. First, in 2008, the Trump Organization was promoting a new tower in Panama. And this project is certainly exemplary of just the grandeur in which we like to enter a market. This is never-before-heard audio of an interview Ivanka did with Portfolio magazine about the project. In Panama, we sold at a 500% premium. 500% premium? That's not true. It was more like 130% on a good day. In our latest episode of Trump Inc., we found that Ivanka and the Trump Organization developed a pattern of misrepresenting how their projects were doing. In 2008, Ivanka told journalists that the Trump Soho Hotel in New York City was 60% sold. But according to a sworn affidavit by a Trump partner two years later, the building was only 15% sold. In 2009, the misstatements continued. We have projects all over the world that are incredibly successful, that are under construction right now, that have their financing secured, um, and that are um, virtually sold out. So from Hawaii to uh, Toronto. The Trump International Hotel and Tower in Toronto was never sold out. And then Baja. The best site in northern Baja and arguably in Mexico. I actually chose to purchase a unit um, in the first tower. Technically, Ivanka did buy a unit in Baja, but she got a special deal. And then the project collapsed. It's not clear where the money went. The Trump Organization now says it was never the developer. It designed the product and simply lent its name to the project. A lot of negotiations about honesty, be honest.